And I'm making a real quick video. This is a magazine for the Ruger 10-22. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a Shooter's Ridge 30 round see-through plastic magazine. We've been having, we have it fully loaded with 30 rounds. We've been having some issues with it feeding into the Ruger 10-22. We're gonna try and take it back and uh, trade it for some Ruger mags. I don't know if you can see in there, but I ran to fail to fail to feed. Not only that, I'll try again. That was somewhere else. You can see what happened to that bullet. As you can see the bullet is probably at like a 60 degree angle in there. That's no good. This ammo was cheap, but I hurt still. Okay. It's not going to work. Once again, it's heavily beating up these bullets. I have to push it back, probably. Yeah, see, so these ones ain't even. <coughs> see how it's not. I'm sending the next bullet up. Probably gonna have to... Oh, there we go. It popped up. I don't know the ones where it allowed the, the hammer to fire, but you can see there's no round battery. Right now they're uh, heavily beating up 22 round. That one didn't make it. It's not good. That's not one that we've experienced yet. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, Shooter's Ridge Mag is pretty much a waste of time. Okay, mag's empty. Shooter's Ridge Magazine. I advise you to not waste your time or money on this thing. It seems to be a phenomenal piece of crap. So, just be forewarned. If you see this magazine, it's uh, priced right, but definitely probably a waste of money for the 1022. We've been, uh, we have, the only other mag we have out here is the Ruger factory 10 round and it's been fun functioning flawlessly with the ammo that we're using so I blame the mag and that's it thanks. The 
this is the type of ammo we're using for our 1022 session. I have 10 rounds of Winchester 333 loaded up in this Ruger factory magazine. I am positive we will have no issue. Air plugs in. Ruger mags work good, at least. 